Okay people, this is himself. Welcome back to another Tekken 7 King Guide. This one's going to be a short one, but I guarantee you'll find it useful. So we all know this move, Back Chop. It's a 20 frame homing high. On hit, you get a knockdown and that then guarantees some follow-ups. For pure damage, you have F4, FF4 and Shoulder. Now Shoulder does do the most damage, but it leaves you at a frame disadvantage, so a recovery kick is guaranteed. Along with that, you also get a Rage Drive. Here, it hits grounded, so a jumping elbow is unavoidable. Now, one nice feature of the back chop is it has a slice up left built in. So if you slice up left first and then do it, you can sometimes hit them in the back. The problem though, is that your normal follow-ups won't work. But this is what this video is about. An alley kick wheel combo, but for more damage, you can actually get a leg drop. Now this doesn't register as a combo, but it is guaranteed. You also have DB3. This is also guaranteed, but does less damage. The reason you might want to go for it though, is that against wake up kicks, you get a launch. Another option is knuckle bomb. What you'll need to do is extend it a little bit. That way you'll launch wake up kicks, but also hit standers, back rollers, and people staying down. You can also catch side rolls, but against these guys, use ground throws. What you'll get is half boss and crab. That then guarantees a people's elbow, a rage drive, or another ground throw attempt. One more option is FF4 plus 2. This is specifically for back rollers. You want to make this as long as possible. That way, the opponent will block it. But what you'll notice is that you're a plus 14, so back to 1 is guaranteed. The best option by far though is Rage Drive. If they stand, back roll or wake up kick, they get launched. If they stay down or side roll, they're face down feet towards. That means you get half Boston Crab again, which is King's best ground throw. In fact, if you're interested in ground throws, check out my video on them. There's a card to that in the corner and a link in the description. Now you may think that's the end of the video, but it's not. Armor King has the same move, only with different follow-ups. When it's from facing, he gets shoulder or FF4. In the back, DB3 is guaranteed, but he does have some alternatives. If you expect them to stand or back roll, round out 2 will hit. It will also clip side roll left, but side roll right escapes. To cover that, we can use ground throws again. And the great thing is the pull up is back turned. That means the FT1 is guaranteed and we have a genuine 50 50 mix up. In fact, why not check out my video on Armor King's ground throws? They're really interesting and can actually lead to combos. If you've already seen that, then make sure you give this video a like. It will help other people find it and motivate me to do more for this character. As always, there are more King Guys coming, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see those. In the meantime, have fun, play well, and I'll see you guys in the future.